Hey, this is a review of the JJRC H6C. It's a small quadcopter and it's actually about the size of the famous Hubson X4. Uh, this particular quadcopter comes with a small camera and there's an SD card that's right here. That's what captures your photos or your videos. Uh, it comes nicely packaged in this small box. We actually bought two of them because the price at Banggood was 50% off and came to some ridiculously low price. So I bought two in order to have uh, an extra battery and some extra propellers and extra motors and extra parts. So it comes complete with the unit. There's a battery installed in there. Here's the battery separately along with the charging cable. This is one of those USB cables that the um, light in it will light when the battery is fully charged. You can sometimes find these the other way where it lights when the battery is not charged. But this one, uh, the light will come on, the red light inside this USB when the battery is fully charged. Um, comes with this remote. It takes four AA batteries. Comes with extra propellers, uh, a, I'm assuming that's a USB stick. Let's take a look. Sure enough, a USB stick for the memory card. And also comes with what looks like a small tool of sorts, might be for removing motors and maybe these little tiny black things they almost look like the little clips here on the bottom uh, that holds this propeller guards on so in order to get this started we hook up the battery set it down turn on the remote and then we're going to move the throttle forward and backward once till it beeps you notice the leds on the transmitter and on the quad have stayed solid now and we can see that we have power so let's take it outside and give it its first go seems very stable Uh, the transmitter has a number of functions. Uh, the taking video or pictures is done with this left cross, the top one. That takes a single picture and the bottom one will take constant video. Until you hit it again. Uh, the other crosses are used for trimming uh, the quadcopter this button on the left is for your 360s it will stay in that mode until you actually do do a 360. once you hit the 360 it can do a 360 forward backwards left or right depending on which way you activate the control stick after you hit the 360 and it's beeping okay so i just came in from the field and yes this left button on the top here uh, gives you the rate 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And that has to do with how steep the unit will bank so that you can fight the winds. If you're fighting any type of decent wind, you're going to want it on at least 75%. If you're indoors, it's going to be fine at 50% or even at 25%. There is a so-called headless mode uh, on this quadcopter where you can hit a button and it will supposedly 
um, head back in your direction when you pull back on the right stick. Uh, I have found that the headless modes in these type of toy quadcopters is really good for nothing. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the best advice I can give with a smaller quadcopter like this is just keep this thing within 50 or 70 feet of you. Don't fly it around a lot of trees or buildings or you will quickly lose it. Uh, all in all, I like this quadcopter. Uh, it's basically very similar to a Hubson X4, just a little bit more refined. And it does have the video and the still camera with it. Um, that can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing for beginners because if you pay attention to trying to press the buttons to have it video or, or take a picture or you try to fly it to areas where you might get a better picture, uh, guess what? You're bound to lose this quadcopter quite quickly. So uh, my basic advice would be when you're learning, don't turn on any of the uh, camera modes. And if you do turn one on, turn the video on and just leave it on. That way you won't have to look down at the transmitter and possibly lose control of your quadcopter. Uh, I also took it way up in the sky, maybe 200 feet high at a park. I'll see if we have a little video from there. And uh, the wind was quite strong. It blew away, but lo and behold, I walked a couple hundred feet and I turned the transmitter on and listened for it and there it was uh, upside down near some railroad tracks in the dirt. Um, I replaced the propeller, blew out the motors a little bit and now it seems to run good as new. So we know that it can take a fall from a couple hundred feet. So would I recommend this quadcopter? Sure. The idea is get it for the best price possible at a price of less than $40. I think it does make a good beginner or intermediate quadcopter. Definitely, you're going to want to leave the protector on if you're flying around inside or if you're pretty new to all of this. Um, definitely get a lot of spare parts. You're definitely going to need more propellers. And if you can find a good deal on it like I did, uh, maybe just buy two of them and that way you'll have plenty of spare parts and an extra battery. Enjoy.